Well hello, welcome back. And as you can see, it's Postcards Home Friday. I'm filming this early because Friday is obviously bank holiday and hubby would like me to spend time with him and the rest of the family. So let's get this done and ready for you to see tomorrow. So this is last week's, the one that we did with that wallpaper that I thought reminded me of the Tim Holtz Wild Flowers. The day is going to be the <clears throat> 7th of April. Um, well, already approaching Easter. Two birthdays. Also, the year is flying by. Okay, so that's last week's. Now, for this week, um, I thought I would, you know, connect it up with my um, continued use of scraps throughout the year. So, for this week's postcard, I've got this book page from a shorthand book but as you can see it's been used as a glue page so it really is a scrap so I thought I would put this onto my card that I can't now pick up I thought I would put this onto my card towards the end and then I've got this scrap of shoe paper which obviously I love because I'm a shoe freak and I think I'm going to pop that on there like like so and that's going to give us this week's postcard I now feel like obviously there should be something through here but because I'm trying to make these so that they would go through the post I don't want to add bulk so I'm just going to have a quick flick through the stuff that as always is on the side of my desk and see if I can find something that might be appropriate. Ah, oh, now I've got these addresses from uh, and numbers and things from my port print so maybe we'll put a couple of those on and maybe we will put them on some of this mulberry paper just for interest. So I'm going to start by not doing any cutting this week i'm going to trim off afterwards so whoops helps you can get your glue started so i'm going to start by gluing my actual postcard rather than the pieces this week this glue is really stiff you saw it it creased up the card there a couple of times right let's pick that up and i'm going to put this almost on the edge just want to try and make sure that it's straight that's the only thing I don't want it all crooked and cross-eyed and all of those things so that's straight-ish it's as straight as I'm probably going to get it you know what I'm like so then I'm just going to glue the other half well it's a third really isn't it not a half but anyway I'm going to glue that I'm going to pop this right on the end to make sure we get the most of it like so I'm now going to trim around my card and get rid of all the excess so that will give me more scrap won't it is the scrap box ever empty now there's a question you know at what point do we say enough is enough how big a piece does it have to be to make it into your scrap box rather than into your waste paper basket? Now there's a question. Um, because I mean these two pieces I will definitely keep. This piece here, I would generally tear that off and keep that one. Tear that one off and keep that one and throw that little bit. That's how I do it. I don't know what you do. It's quite interesting, I suppose, to know what people do. Now, here, um, I think what I want to do is 
tear it and it's best to tear this stuff you can't really cut it and it does give you that beautiful feathered edge I think we're gonna have that across there like you almost like you would if it was an envelope you know the address area so we're gonna put some glue across the middle there and this is fabulous stuff it glues a bit like napkin because it goes um, transparent almost and you can see you know what's underneath but you add those fibers and those bits of color and it, it's just I think anyway it's just awesome paper I'm in love with it so that's that bit and then I'm gonna look at these and this oh I can't pick them up I'm gonna look at these and decide what I like well I always like a date so I think we'll definitely have a date here. It says November the 12th. I mean, obviously, it's nowhere near where we are, but we can play with it, can't we? A glorious sunny day here again. I feel like we finally sprung winter, if that makes sense. So maybe we could have that one up there. And then we could choose one... Oh look, how bizarre, one quart, two cups of sugar. I'm gonna have that one. I love these, as I say, these come from my port prints. Um, you can buy them on their own, I believe, but you can also get them in one of their kits. I think it's the grungy kit or something like that. It's called, um, I just love them. I suppose you could spend time on your computer and do them, you know, it's not that hard really, but to get the um, that lovely aged edge I just think is gorgeous. So I'm just going to put those two on there um, and I think I will ink this one just to bring it all back in line and cohesive with itself and then we'll be done. So always short and simple, aren't they, on a Friday? Or Thursday, as it actually is today, in preparation for Friday. Put a lid on our glue. Whoops. Get out our sepia, archival sepia. I'm going to run that all around the edge. I just feel this week needs it as you know i don't hardly ever really ink up these postcards i don't think with most of them it's necessary or fitting but this week yeah it feels like it should be so there we go we've inked that up we've got some definite layers you can see there i just think it's cute so let's get our stamp on so and you know what? How about if this week we do something really random? Um, and I'm going to put that dragonfly on, I think. Just because I can. So we put those bits on. Whoops, come here. I'm going to take these off. And then I'm just going to put this dragonfly on. Just because I can. And it's spring-like today and this is a really random one with shoes and shorthand and bits of recipe so why not there we go so this week's postcard home shoes dates recipes shorthand and a bit of beautiful paper as always thank you so much for joining me stay safe happy crafting I'll be back to see you very soon.